Welcome to update five of Save a Dad. This is unscripted and unedited, and I just wanted to share what's currently alive for me. It's a great question that one of my good friends, who's also a breathwork and instructor and th therapist, is like, what's alive for you today? Really connecting with those authentic feelings, even if they are negative, and uh, yeah, I definitely was in that shadow energy yesterday. I think I shared that with a few people that I know. And when I think back to making the decision to come to America for treatment, what initially started out as two weeks of treatment and then found an extra treatment, it was a big ask of myself and then a big ask of everyone out there to help me support the mission financially and coming back into the UK life doesn't stop and to some extent some areas of life do stop being thrown in to a cancer journey but it's only a few of us in that age group of 30 to 50 that are diagnosed with a cancer and even few more that are diagnosed with the terminal cancer and it's a challenge man it's huge and whilst I just try and focus on one day at a time there is that wider desire just to get back to a normal life but the reality is what is normal <laughs> what is normal and so as a dad who wants to provide for his family and for his daughters and you know and they're not having the capacity really um, who'd want to employ me <laughs> as a terminal cancer patient and yes I do have an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial streak within me and yeah like building a business is difficult it's challenging and add into that knowing how to solve my problem but then having not having the resources to solve it financially is difficult and so I need to focus on what has happened over the last couple of weeks. I had the two weeks of treatment with Dr. Maharaj and that was amazing. It was great to see him. And it was such an emotional arrival back at the clinic on day one, knowing that I'd taken years to try and make that happen. And with your help, you helped make that happen and helped make it more possible. And then discovering this other treatment, which I've completed on Friday over in San Diego, which could be a game changer. I feel really good about it. And I'm concerned about coming back and making the decisions I know I have to um, when it comes to treatment plans moving forward understanding what the Christie want for me and they're doing their best but also understanding what I want to do and these data points that I've created and yeah I just I just have an air of uncertainty at the moment so you know, to think about what has happened over the last 12 months since my relapse in August, the end of August, 2023. That's a lot for not just me to navigate, but also my family. And yeah, in many ways, I feel like a, a liability, an inconvenience, when all I'd want is just to have total health. And so the, the, the treatment I've had over the last week and the two weeks before that have the potential to completely change my direct, the direction of my healing that over the last five years has been challenging. The cancer's never fully gone away. Yes, I did go and do an Ironman. And yeah. I'm just being in that energy of uncertainty at the moment. 
And what's important in this unscripted video is I think that something I've struggled with is seeing Mark healthy. I thought they were calling me then. Yeah, seeing myself healthy. I've had I've been on this journey since 2015, June. But if I really think about it, I was not well in the years leading up to that. In terms of my the level of quality of my life. Yes. Uh, and what I mean by that is that I was I was not happy in the career path that I was in. Um, and a cancer journey, in many ways, when we look at it from a psychosomatic perspective, is really about a coming home, about reconnecting with our divine potential. And seeing our cells, seeing our life force, seeing our energy, seeing myself as 100% healthy and vibrant is the one thing I'm going to focus on over the next few days as I allow this treatment to fully manifest in my body. So I'm going to keep the GoFundMe alive. We're 25,000 pounds off the target of 65,000 pounds. And I need to pay back my brother and my sister and I need to work all that out. I've just parked it until I get back to the UK to work out what are my options. So if you can continue to share this story of hope, share me being as open as I possibly can be within this challenging process, I'd really appreciate you continuing to give it as much love as you can and where possible donating because the treatment costs don't stop here I've got a consultation lined up and a blood work that I need to do with my integrative practitioner in the next couple of weeks there's supplements to buy adjunctive therapies to help support a cancer an, in, an integrative cancer journey yeah that's my update number five I hope you found that useful and yes I will focus on seeing myself as healthy and transitioning this GoFundMe campaign and me sharing my story here to releasing my podcast and setting up a platform to help other cancer patients but also help me continue to fund my this adventure of life for me over and out